Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about generators. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about typing a generator coroutine. Now, I'm not actually going to be writing a full generator coroutine. I'm mostly just going to be showing the typing and how one would interact with them. Um, writing out a full coroutine is a little bit more complicated, uh, so I'm going to skip that. This is actually a follow-up to another video I did about typing and generators, as well as another video I did about context managers, which uses some of the coroutine stuff of, of uh, generators. So I will remember to link those in the description. Uh, but let's jump into it. All right, so to get started, we are just going to make a very simple generator. So we're going to call this, I don't know, gen. And from typing import generator. And this is going to return a generator. And generator takes three types. The first type is the yield type. Um, which most generators you write, like I said in the other video, most generators are going to be some type and then none, none. Like you're not going to have a send type or a return type. Um, and uh, in this case, we are going to have a send type and a return type. So let's just use instir bool. Um, so this will be our yield type, this will be our send type, and this will be our return type. Um, and this this kind of comes into play in a, in a few ways in, in generators. So uh, in order to adhere to our yield type properly, we have to you know, yield some value. And the send type is actually the way that you receive values in a generator. So we can actually say that s equals this. And uh, if we were to reveal type on this, set up my pie, install my pie. Come on, there we go. We're missing a return statement because we haven't done the, the return type yet. Uh, but you'll see that the, expre the yield expression gets back a string. So when we send something into this generator, we're going to be able to receive it as a string. And so that's where this type comes from. And just for kicks, let's print that value. Uh, now the last type is the return type. And this doesn't really make too much sense until I show you how it gets used. So let's just return, I don't know, false here, for example. Um, and so now MyPy should be happy with this because we've, you know, we've yielded the right type, we've yielded an integer, uh, we've received a string. There's not really too much it can validate here other than, you know, print can print anything, so that's fine. Uh, and we've made sure to adhere to our return uh, type specification as well. Now let's show how we would use this. Um, well, first we're going to call it, so let's do thing equals gen. And make sure we're still passing MyPy, of course, because we haven't done anything yet. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to retrieve a value from this generator. And so we can do that by doing next of gen, um, or next of thing, uh, value equals this, and that should be a integer. We should have uh, advanced the generator one forward and, you know, received an integer out of here. Um, yep, so you can see here we have gotten an integer. Uh, let's see, print got from generator value. Now I talked about send type before. The way sending works is you call the dot send method on the generator. Um, actually, I'm going to yield one more thing in here just so uh, we don't <laughs> we don't spoil the return value already. Um, so we are going to do value two equals thing dot send and we're going to send hello hello. And again, this is kind of like you can kind of see the workings of a coroutine here like we're we're trading execution back and forth between this generator and the code out here. Um, so we're going to send the string hello, hello into this generator, and it's going to send us back the next yielded value. So we should get um, we should get back another integer here if we ask MyPy. And again, if we print this value 2, we should get a value there. Now, interestingly enough, um, as we've gotten this, this uh, second value back, I think it, actually the generator ends there. Maybe should have. Oh no, yeah, the generator has not ended yet. So it has just yielded this value, but it is not completed yet. If we were to ask the generator for something more, so let's say we called next on the generator, next on thing, uh, this will advance past this yield statement and um, you know run run the imaginary code that's here about to end. I guess we could show that before we do this. So this about to end 
has not run yet. Um, but as soon as we call next on this, you'll see that it prints about to end, and then it reads stop iteration. And stop iteration is what happens when either the end of a generator function happens and there's an implicit return none, or you have an explicit return statement. In this case, we return false. And the return value of your generator becomes the value in the exception arguments. And we can actually retrieve that out by grabbing this using a try except. So if we do except stop iteration as e, uh, we can get ret out of e.args. Um, and if we in a real type on ret, so I don't know if my is going to be smart enough to know that. Yeah, it's going to be any. Um, yeah, my, my pie doesn't quite know. <laughs> my pie doesn't quite know what's going on here, but that's that's okay. We know that this ret is a boolean. Um, let's see. I uh, got this out of error, out of exception. Um, and admittedly, the return type of generator I don't find too useful. It does get used sometimes, but um, when we put everything together, you can see. Get out of there. But anyway, that's that's the three types of generator. You almost never use these other two unless you're doing really, really complex stuff um, with generators. For the most part, you're just dealing with this first type. But anyway, that's typing that generator. Hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.